In this video series, I'll show you how to extend Next functionality using Make to create a multi-line PDF. The video series does require an understanding of both NAC and Make. I hope this series inspires you to develop the functionality further. If you're not already a subscriber, then please consider subscribing. Also, if you'd like to make a donation, you can buy me a virtual cup of coffee using Ko-fi. Prices start from just $3, no sign up, the link's in the description. It's really easy to use and I'd really appreciate your support. Okay, now let's dive in and take a look at what we're going to build. So that you have an understanding of the application structure, I just want to run you through the four tables that I have. The first one is my company table, and I start with an auto increment field, then a name field, and then joining those two together using a text formula, so I end up with this as my display field. This is how it will display on the related invoices. I then have an address, phone, website, and a count of how many invoices are being rolled up from the invoice table. So currently there is one. If I go into my invoice table, you can see here, this is the connection to the company. And then I have an auto increment here, once again, using a text formula to concatenate it to give me an invoice number, date stamp, connection to the logged in user. And then I'm concatenating the company name and the invoice number and using this as my display field in the line items. I then have a due date that this invoice needs to be paid, copy of the invoice that we've created, and then some roll up fields of how many related line items there are, the total value excluding tax, the quantity of tax, and the total including tax. So obviously underneath that then I have my line items, and you can see here this is the connection and using the display field from the invoice, and then I have auto increment field once again, a multi-choice field which just gives me some options for the different types of equipment that I have, and then some very simple fields for quantity. So in this case, two, my unit price, I'm just manually keying this, but that then gives me a total of a thousand. My tax is at 20%, the tax quantity is 200. So that gives me a total of 1200. So if we were to look at my total excluding VAT, I have a thousand, a thousand and five hundred. So two and a half thousand excluding tax. I then have 500 of tax, which gives me 3000. If I go back to my invoice, you can see here those figures are rolled up to 2,500 and 3,000. The last table I have is my templates table. And this once again has an auto increment, just a description. This is the invoice. And the invoice is a Word document, uh, which looks like this. And you will see here you have the key tags in the curly brackets. And this is what we're going to populate by using data dynamically from NAC to create the header and also create information in the repeating line items. Heading over into the pages section, I have a simple grid or table of companies. If I then go into one of the companies, at the top I have the details of the company and then a related table underneath of invoices. And inside each invoice, I have the related line items for that invoice. I'm just gonna come back a level here. The information that's on this table is pretty much everything we will need to create the PDF. And I have a button here, which will be the trigger to start the make scenario. This is the make scenario that we will build in this series. Just running through from left to right, the first module is a JavaScript webhook that will receive the record ID, which we will then look up in the second module. We will then look up the company information, which from the company table, I'll then go and find the invoice in the template table and download that using this module. Then look up all the related line items and merge that with a Word template to create my multi-line PDF. Use Convertio to then create the PDF, upload that back into NAC and update the record. And lastly, send a callback back to NAC to refresh the table. The last thing to do now is just show you what this looks like in real life. So I'm just going to go into Phoenix Flights Limited, who has one invoice. I have to select the due date for the invoice and then the button will become visible. I can now click on the create the PDF invoice. This form will send the trigger to the JavaScript webhook. I can see on my other screen that a scenario has fired. It's just creating the PDF and we'll send a callback. And now we have the PDF here, which I can then click on and view, and as you can see, it's completed and filled in with dynamic data, including the related line items. Hopefully that short overview gave you an insight into what we're going to build in Make and how you can automate the process of your PDF creation. 
In the next video, we'll be looking at setting up the JavaScript webhook.